Greetings friends, welcome to my den and welcome to here at the Razor Company YouTube channel and uh, yeah, so today we're going to be taking a look at Never Alone 1, the soap set that started of movement. So uh, if you like the sounds of that, uh, stay tuned and we're going to get into this shave and the history lesson. Be right back. All right, and we uh, we are all pre-shaved up. We are ready to go. So uh, yeah, let's get started with this trip down memory lane. And uh, I don't I don't use this one all that much, even though this is uh, incredibly incredibly important to me. And also, I know it's incredibly important to a, to a lot of you out there. Um, that being said, it's one it's one I don't want to kill. I don't want to kill this soap set anytime soon. I, I want this in my den as long as possible. And uh, what a beautiful scent on this. It still still brings this uh, this smile to my face, this this unbridled joy. I get a lot of pink pepper off this, a lot of pink pepper, some rose, the spices that are in here, a little bit of that citrus. It's a beautiful, masculine, fresh scent. I absolutely love, love this. And uh, <laughs> just looking at the label is, uh, it's... Um, it make, makes a person feel good. So, so we'll talk about this and uh, and what this means. So, if if you're new new to here, uh, new new to wet shaving, new to the channel, new to the community, you're you're gonna start seeing some posts. So you might have seen some posts already about Never Alone. So what is Never Alone? Uh, Never Alone is a community initiative to help uh, end the stigma around men's mental health and. Um, and suicide prevention it's something very very near and dear to my heart very near and dear to Jason at the razor company and to our vendors who help put this on uh, and uh, supply products for this and near and dear to Ken the vintage head shaver who we brought on as part of our team last year so where this all started was back in 2021 it's the first year this came out and uh, I believe it was 2021 or no no that math don't work 2020 had to be 2020 this is 2024 yeah math is not my strong suit <laughs> math is not my strong suit at all um so i have a youtube channel as well and i was going through i was going through a really really bad really bad rough patch and i was just getting to know jason um from the online community and we're going to go with a razor that's very near and dear to my heart. This was sent to me by uh, the aforementioned Ken, the vintage head shaver, a gold Gillette Super 109, because he knows I love gold. I just have a thing for it. So here it is. Um, and we're going to lovingly use this. So yeah, uh, I did a video. I was going through a really rough patch. So Jason reaches out to me and he says, hey, you know, your video resonated with me, you know, being vulnerable, being open. What what would you think about doing some kind of a community initiative, some kind of community project to help deal with mental health? And I kind of thought about it while we were talking. And I'm like, I'll, I'll have to get back to you on that. Um, because I don't know. Like, I mean, uh, you know, I was, I was out there enough on my channel, on my own channel, you know, I spoke about my struggles and, and stuff I had going on and I didn't mind, I didn't mind speaking about it there in, in a rather, in, in a smaller place, but I didn't quite know if I was ready to go take to the next step and, and be a, be a bigger voice or start a bigger conversation. So I said, well, I'll think about it and uh, I'll get back to you. So I thought about it for a couple days and I thought, you know, if this resonated with, with Jason, somebody who, who barely knows me, you know, maybe maybe there's more people out there that are struggling to uh, uh, to speak or, you know, or to, to get to get their words out, their stories out. And I thought maybe maybe we could do something here. Maybe, you know, why not? Oh, what do I have to lose? Right. What do we have to lose? Um so we uh talked to him again and we started hashing it out and we came up with how we were gonna how we were gonna roll this out and uh about doing it doing it for charity donating money to charity and of course 100 percent of proceeds 
go to charity uh, from this. We don't make any money off it and we never intend to make any money off it. And so we rolled with it. So we, we came out that year with, with Never Alone One and really what blew me away right from the, right the get-go was just how many people in the community were struggling. They're struggling to, to, to share their voice and they, they felt like, you know, they didn't have anybody that would listen to them because the stigma around men's mental health is real. And, you know, a lot of people were fully involved in that, not fully involved, but they were fully aware of that stigma. And this helped give them some courage to, to tell their stories and to come out of their shell a little bit and to share. And, you know, we're, we're coming up on the release of Never Alone 4. And the amount of people that, you know, still reach out to this day or participate in the community, you know, uh, new people that come into the community and say how much this means to them, it, it's just proof positive, I think, that we, we touched on something that was needed. And we did help give people, people that voice, that platform to, to, uh, to share. And it's something that... Something I'm always going to be incredibly proud of, uh, and and very thankful to Jason for giving me that push to uh, to help help spread that message. Um, you know, it's uh, it's tough. It's tough to be down and out. It's tough to have those feelings, especially in a society where you know there is still stigma around men's mental health, where you know you're supposed to just suck it up and be a man, so to speak. And, you know, but thankfully that narrative is changing. And now being a man is being vulnerable. And reaching out to people when you're hurting. And that's, that's one of the things I love the most about this, uh, this project is it's become a beacon. Where people see a never alone post, they know that person is a safe person they can talk to if they're, if they're, if they're if they're struggling and it's something I never I never really imagined it would it would uh, it would go as big as big and far and wide as it did. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick clean up here off camera. We're back with the uh, the splash and the final thoughts. Back in a minute. All right, and I am back. And yeah, that was a, that was a fantastic shave. Uh, love that super adjustable 109. So we'll get in with the splash and we'll let you guys go. And of course, I do have. I still have the matching splash. Kind of use this. Should give you a better shot. I use this kind of sparingly if I can. Just trying to trying to hold on to this as long as I can. Oh, it's it's an amazing scent. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. To cap off a beautiful shave. But yeah, so that's kind of the origins of Never Alone. Uh, an important an important conversation and one that we're going to continue uh, one we're going to continue having and supporting as many people as we can and uh, you know together we can make this world a better place together we can make this community a better place and a safer place and a more welcoming place uh, free of stigma and um, where people don't have to suffer in silence so as I go uh, I just want to give you a little bit of inspiration so remember it's okay to not be okay it's okay to reach out to somebody if you're struggling and to, to talk to them and have a chat. And, uh, you know, especially on the socials in the community, you see people that support Never Alone. You know, these uh, these people that buy these soaps, that they believe in the project. They don't just buy them because it's a new soap. They buy it because they believe in the message. They believe in helping one another. And, and that's, that's what we like to see. And you can know it's a safe person to talk to if you if you are struggling. So yeah, that'll do it for me. So thank you everybody for tuning into this video on the Razor Company. I do appreciate it. We'll be coming back uh, soon with a Never Alone 2 shave and continuing on with the story and the conversation. So that's it for me. So until next time, my friends, be safe, be kind to one another. Most importantly, have a great day and better shave. We'll see you later. Peace.